Hello, my name is Kevin Martins and I'm a partner technical architect with Microsoft. I'm here to talk today a little bit about DKIM records and how you set those up and why you want to set those up with Exchange Online in Office 365. You should use your DKIM records in addition to SPF and DMARC records, which we'll talk about later, to help prevent spoofers from sending messages that look like they are coming from your domain. DKIM lets you add a digital signature to email messages in the message header. It sounds really t complicated, but it's not. It's very easy to configure. When you configure DKIM, you authorize your domain to associate or sign its name to an email message by using cryptographic authentication. An email system that receives email from your domain can, help, can use this digital signature to help determine if that incoming email they received is legitimate and is indeed from you. It is one of the many ways that you can help to prevent email spoofing, spamming, phishing, and the many additional email threats on the internet today. So let's get started. Let's look at the Office 365 administration portal. We start by going to protection.office.com. Once in here, we'll go down to Threat Management and then open up the Policy area. From here, we see our DKIM settings. We'll click on the panel to open up the settings. We can see here how the default domain .onmicrosoft.com is already set up with DKIM records. It's enabled. We can disable it as well from here. But, as we look at the custom domain, it is not enabled, as well as any other domain that you have in here by default. From here, we can enable it, and we see that the CNAME records are not set up yet. Office 365 tells you exactly what you need to set up it for your CNAME records to make DKIM work. Here, we'll highlight this, we'll copy it into a text file, we'll separate these out, to give us two DKIM records to create, Selector 1 and Selector 2. From here, we'll go to our DNS provider. In this case, our DNS provider is GoDaddy. We'll go to GoDaddy.com, click on Sign In, and when the username and password field comes up, we'll bypass that for the purposes of this demonstration. Now that we're logged in, we're able to see all of our DNS records. We'll scroll down to the bottom and click on Add to, click to select our first record. We select CNAME, and because we've already pasted our records into a notepad file, we're just going to copy those out and paste the first selector record in the host area, and then our pointer into the points2 field. By using the notepad file, this certainly helps to eliminate the possibility for uh, data entry errors, and it saves us a bit of time. We'll go here and select our second record, again following the same process. Second one is a CNAME, selector two is the host, and we'll grab the corresponding pointer record. Now that our records are created, we want to make sure that it's they're active on the internet. To verify this, we'll go to mxtoolbox.com. Once there, we'll go to More, we'll click in the DKIM field and paste one of our records. Then proceed and verify the record resolves properly on the internet. In this demonstration, it took a matter of minutes from the time the record was created in GoDaddy until the point that it resolved correctly using mxtoolbox.com. Now that our records have been created, let's go back to our DKIM portal and select our custom domain. In this case, it's kmartins.com. I'll click on Enable, and we'll watch it enable properly this time without a warning message saying the CNAME records have not been created. Now they've resolved, they've been created, and DKIM is active. Let's send an email test message through. Here's an email coming through. And we can see here in the headers that DKIM equals pass. The signature was verified. DKIM is now set up properly. As I mentioned before, your organization should seriously consider enabling DKIM records to help those that are receiving emails from you further verify your identity.
If you're a Microsoft partner, you should seriously consider enabling DKIM records for each one of your clients and making this part of your standard practice to help with the security of their organization. Thank you for watching this demonstration on DKIM records.